The vision for Harris Science Academy East London is we want children to leave us with the ability to go and be a leader in whatever they choose to do. Uh, and we hope that many of them will have the opportunity to be leaders in science, technology, engineering and maths. Uh, and for us that will mean that they leave with two things. First, the academic qualifications to make sure that they gain entry into elite universities, great apprenticeships and, and excellent technical education. But they also leave as the, the kind of people that are going to go and have great impact in the world uh, and be leaders and change makers of the future. We know how to make sure that students get the best outcomes. And that level of experience, um, that provision of education, quality education, um, is exactly what our students in our communities need and deserve. The students here are wonderful. Um, there is a real drive and resilience and determination behind them that I think you don't always see in, 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 other, in other schools across the country. We know that uh, exam results only get students to the door of those great opportunities. Our character education programme ensures that students go through those doors and beyond. Um, so we have a programme in place to ensure that students can articulate themselves effectively and stand shoulder to shoulder with students from uh, more advantaged backgrounds. I think the students are probably one of the best things about uh, Harris Science Academy East London. They're welcoming, they're friendly, they are, um, I think they're ambitious for themselves um, and what we really want to ensure that they become is those confident people when they leave our doors um, and so I can't wait to see how, how they move towards that and becoming even better. We want our kids to learn so it's all about behaviour that makes sure our kids can learn. They're in a classroom where they feel safe and they're in a classroom where they can flourish really and for that to happen we need exemplary behaviour where students are following and tracking the teacher, students are not disrupting the learning that's taking place so that the cognitive load from the other students isn't taken away from silly low level disruptions. Um, exemplary behaviour as well is in the corridors, um, I want our students to be good citizens they're amazing here at SL where they always use their pleases and thank yous when you hold the doors. They will also want to hold the door for you and say your good mornings and good afternoons and goodbyes. So exemplary behaviour is being a good citizen and making sure that we foster an environment where students can learn. Our school values based off of growth. So growth, responsibility, ambition, compassion and excellence. My favourite thing about the school is its size. Um, most schools have like 214 each year. We have around 100, which I think isn't a limit. It's more of an opportunity to like get to know your year group better and just create like a closer community. I like the reward system at the school because we have jumped the queue tickets whenever we have 100% attendance in a half term and we get no negative points. But it's only four year 11s, which encourages us to stay in school and focus in lessons so that we get good GCSE grades. But the fact that like we can make good friends and like have a good relationship and then you know just a very positive environment for learning. The cultural diversity, you get to meet new people from different cultures and even in at lunch they try and provide things for, from different cultures each week. To help us organise our school improvement work and to make sure that we are focusing on the things that really matter, we've distilled um, our work into four key areas which we call our core business. Uh, and those four areas are one, about unified leadership and alignment behind a values-led mission. Second, creating the conditions for exemplary behaviour. Third, making sure that every child experiences a well-taught academic curriculum. And finally, that every child has frequent opportunities for character development. You know, there's a very, very clear sense of the direction we are now going in. Uh, I'm not saying that we don't have work to do, because we definitely do. But that is the challenge in itself. It, it's, you know, making sure that we are giving that good quality education and being proud of, of the school. It's not about the big picture of where we are going to go, but how we are going to do it. And that breaking it down to every second, every minute, every day, what you need to do, what we need to do. So that's... Fantastic. I've never worked in an environment where there is such a sense of let's let's crack on and do it, um, of a real sense of commitment to the children and to making sure that we band together, row in the same direction and, and deliver for the children. And, and that's why we've been able to make such rapid improvement over such a short period of time because 
because everyone is committed to doing the right thing for the children. It's just not words. You can actually see that things happening, work's happening. I think staff can expect a really exciting opportunity to be a part of a massive change in, in Newham and in the UK. I want staff here who are going to be really ambitious for the children. I'm clear that our children can get the best GCSE results in the country and that this academy will be one of the best academies in the country within the next five years and I want staff on board who believe in that too and are committed to delivering it. To anyone who is considering taking on a role here, I think you know, it's an exciting time to be a part of um, Harris Science Academy East London and knowing that you're going to be part of that change, knowing that we have amazing and incredible children who are talented, who are ambitious, who are academic. We only get one chance to deliver a life-changing education for young people and it's important that we leave nothing to chance and that we don't waste any time in doing that. And that requires everyone to understand what we do why we're doing it and the impact that that is going to have on, on the children. I really think that this is the perfect opportunity to be a part of an exciting change and transition. I cannot imagine being anywhere else at this point.